This is just a regular old Hoover baiter uh, chicken hatching, egg hatching incubator. I've cut a piece of coat hanger wire and I've hung this piece of coat hanger wire. I just stuck it through it from one side to the other. That's a thermostat. We kind of modded this incubator and I'm just going to hang these. I'm going to hang these queen cells right from this wire here. You can see what I'm doing. And I'm just, I don't know if it, if you can let them lay down, I don't know. I started to lay them on the bottom and I thought, I'm just going to hang them so that they'll be natural like they would be in a, uh, whoops, that ain't good, sorry about that. So that I'm just going to hang them so that they'll be hanging like they would be in a, uh, in a hive. I need to hurry because you know, it's time sensitive. Just like that right there. Now from what I've read and studied, the best temperature is 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Ouch, that's hot. 94 degrees Fahrenheit is what you hatch queen bees on. And you want a relatively about a 40% humidity. Okay, now I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you look in this way and see on the hanging? Look, I'm going to open it one time and you step back here. I already showed the hanging. And you want a 40 to 50% humidity. Now all this is right here, this is a, um, this is just a uh, thermostat that you can buy online uh, for heating pads for reptiles. We wanted a, a real accurate thermostated, and I hatch chicken eggs in this, okay? Uh, but we're about done hatching them for the year, so I'm gonna use it to try to hatch queen bees So it's got a probe right here that goes down in there reads the temperature You put water in it. It's just a regular chicken incubator. We just added this thermostat so that it would uh, And it's a reading Celsius is what it's doing, but I've got it set on 94 degrees And we put our queens in there now those queens should hatch out to, it's usually I think it's 16 days, and I think they're about eight to nine to 10 days, somewhere in that range. So next week, if they're gonna hatch, they should hatch in them cages of hanging in there. And we'll, uh, we'll give you an update and show you, uh, if, uh, see if we can hatch queen cells in a chicken incubator. I've seen a lot of these guys got NICOT uh, queen incubators. Here's a 50, this is about a $50 incubator that we hatch chicken eggs. And uh, I thought while I'm not using it, why don't I just see if I can hatch out queens in it. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And uh, we'll, we'll give you an update and show you if they hatch or not. This is Unusual Bee Works. Thanks for watching. Um, we're going to open up this chicken incubator and look and see if we got anything hatched. And look at here. Right here is a newly hatched queen. You see her? See her right there? I'm going to take her out. If I can get her out, let's take her out. Proofs in the pudding. There you go. I hatched. I hatched out queen bees. Look here. Let's get her up here in the light. Now, can you see her? That'd be harder to see, probably. You can see it. Yeah, you can see her. I hatched queen bee out in a chicken incubator. There you see. You can do it. 